I just got back from a meeting and I decided that I was gonna do a what's in my bag video. I actually had two reasons I wanted to do this. The first is that I had a different video I had intended to do today, but it included a little bit more shit I had to figure out ahead of time. And I'm not prepared for that right now. I'm a little bit overwhelmed this week. I said I was gonna do one with this bag and I thought I would. Now this is an unclean, unclean, unclean bag unbagging showing you what's in my bag. It's a Steve Madden bag. I got it from Marshalls uh, beginning of February before I went to Palm Springs. And that was the last time I've cleaned it out. And I just got back from a meeting. There is nothing changed about what's in this bag. I'm gonna show you some fucking reality right here. This is what's in my bag on the regular. This is a massive fucking bag. No wonder I have back problems. Some papers from my meeting today, which I will promptly stick on the pile of papers and forget about. My bullet journal. This is a watercolor block. I am doing some art for a project at church and I wanted to bring it to show to the person at the meeting who needed to see it. What else we got in here? Prescriptions that I picked up today, several hours ago that are still in my bag. And I have been home in between when I went to the pharmacy and when I went to this meeting, just saying. What else we got? My wallet. Now this is a newer wallet. I got this at the same time I got the bag. It's Betsy Johnson. It's super cute, which is why I got it because hashtag super cute. You look inside, hashtag not quite so super cute, full of receipts. Dating to Palm Springs because I have not cleaned my wallet out and put all the receipts in their prospective homes. The only thing I can find in there is the cash money because I can fucking find cash money like a magnet to another magnet iron question mark i actually lost one of my debit cards i thought i had to call the bank turns out it was in there just buried amongst the receipts what else is in here speaking of here's a receipt here's a receipt my keys a book i bought yesterday it's the last tutor by philippa gregory i guess i'm using this video to clean my purse out too i feel like mary poppins going into like her carpet bag Which, by the way carpet bag sounds fucking dirty. Mary Poppins, stay away from my carpet bag. My Erin Condren meal planner from when I went grocery shopping early, earlier this week and I was wondering when, why my meals felt all off. It's because I had this planner but I didn't have it out where I needed to see it because it was buried in my fucking bag. Forever sad, an empty bag of haichu. I don't even remember eating these. I found one. We'll have this one later. I don't want to chew on camera. That's fucking wrong. I'm gonna chew on camera. I don't even care. You can't keep me from high chew. Pen that was originally attached to my bullet journal. More receipts. Packet of paperwork, informational papers from open house at the high school my daughter's going to be going to. That was a week ago. More receipts, more receipts, more receipts. We're noticing a theme here. More receipts. Here's a receipt. Here's some paint samples that my husband and I are looking at for the potential outside of our house. Receipts, paint sample, receipts, envelope, packing slip. That's garbage. I don't even know why this is all in my bag. More receipts. A coop. Oh, wait. I don't even know. This is a Monopoly game. It's not for McDonald's because I don't eat at McDonald's very often. I don't know what that is. It's a Monopoly piece for some unknown store. A couple more high chew that are super flat. Look how flat these are. Oh my God. A lady product. A concealer that I bought and the outside of the concealer said one shade, but the inside said another shade. One I will actually wear, but isn't the one I wanted. I was gonna return this, but at this point it feels all like broken and fucked up that I might as well just keep it because I know I'm gonna use it at some point anyway. But that's some bullshit. My new prescription sunglasses, a sleeping mask that I got as a gift in Palm Springs. Another one of those Monopoly pieces. I, I don't know where these came from. Where the fuck did these come from? I wonder if I open it, I can find out. It has like goat cheese on the back. I don't know what this is for. I have to investigate. I probably want the garbage. I'm reaching the bottom here. Inevitable inhabitants of the bottom of my bag, some loose change and a paper clip. Hit the bottom. This is the bottom of my bag, but there are still pockets. Those nasty pockets is. These are citrus scented mini wipes. This is a lip oil from Ulta. It's Ulta brand juice infused lip oil jojoba and peach. I got the cranberry one in a birthday bag. I'll probably talk about it this week in my favorites because it is one of my favorites. I wanted to get a different flavor as well. And that's this one, the jojoba. Don't you ho-ho all over my buff. And then in this bag, oh, I can't go too deep in here. 
You can hear the, the crinkly sound. That is the sound of a handful of lady products that I'm not going to inflict upon you. And a Sharpie, because nothing says Cindy Gunter Baldo like a handful of panty liners and a Sharpie marker. I don't think I have anything else anywhere else in here. That is the aftermath of what is in my bag. Beautiful, isn't it? Not organized, it's real life. And that's what we're here for. So why don't you tell me about the reality of what's in your bag? Does it look like this over here? Or does it look a little bit fancier? And that's okay. It's okay if your inside of your bag is fancy. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.